It's not something he's been used to of late, but the Prime Minister Boris Johnson has been praised after visiting Kyiv for talks with Ukraine's President Zelensky. Now, following the meeting, Downing Street said the UK would send 120 armoured vehicles and anti-ship missile systems to support Ukraine. Many are saying Boris has been brave to make the visit. So, has it changed your opinion of him, Linda? Well, I've always really liked Boris because he lived in Islington and I used to see him all the time riding around on his bike and he was always very pleasant, always stopped and chatted to everybody. And then we had party gates, so I went off him a bit. But I take my hats off to him here because, I mean, he was very brave to go there, wasn't he? I mean, he's got armed guards beside him and that. And imagine telling your family, I'm just off to Ukraine for a few days, I'll see you when I get home, if I get home. Mm. You know, like, so, yeah, you've got to take your hat off to him. I mean, he's very brave to go there. There's not many people that would. Do you fancy going to Ukraine? Right. No, I don't at all. Ursula, what's her face went there as well, didn't she? The, uh, <coughs> von der Ursula, Leyen. Ursula, what's Ur her face? Ursula von der Leyen, I can never remember her name, the EU lady. Listen, I think, I think it's been a very successful visit for yeah. Boris. And I agree with you. There is a lot of speculation that it was a PR stunt. Um, I have given Boris a hard time th th this, this year, although I did feel in many ways it was better the devil you know. All I don't want the Ukraine visit to be is a dead cat, as it were. You know, you throw the dead cat on the table and everyone looks over there. Because, like you, I spent two years fight, f fighting, you know, for the rights of people throughout COVID. Yeah. And I don't want this to take away from Partygate, because although with the horrors of Ukraine, um, it may seem trivial, but it's not trivial, because those people had no respect from the beginning of the COVID outbreak until now, had no respect for the parties when people were, were losing people in hospital. Yeah, I myself to visit had people. to fight, you know, to, to, to see, see my, my dad in, in hospital. And these people had all the data and they still chose to all get together. So you think it's a good thing that he went, but you don't want it to become a, a distraction for the... Uh, yeah, I don't for... want the other things to, for, to be forgotten. Yeah. You know, you can be not very good at one aspect of your politics and very good at another, and it does seem to be yeah. that he is dealing with the Ukraine war very well. Um, I, I think it's great that he went. I really do. I think it's very brave, like you said. I'm slightly worried that he was just walking around in that suit and tie that he always walks around. He didn't even have a vest on, did he? Um, I think... Boris is damned if he does and damned if he doesn't, you know, because um, we always go back to everything he does wrong, you know, or has yeah, done wrong. Yeah. But, I, I, you know, I, I think it's a good thing that he's gone. And I don't think the party gate thing will just... People are not going to forget that. No. You know? No, no I think there's fines of £50. But he has to do something, something that... I mean, now, it's very, and it's... I think it was good to see him out there yeah. doing it. Yeah, you know? yeah no, I, I think it was good. And, and um, President Zelensky has been very... Um, full of praise for Boris and the UK and their reaction to it. I mean, I'm looking here, we've sent more than 800 anti-tank missiles, we've sent additional anti-tank systems, air defence systems, package amounts to more than £100 million. Um, my only thought about it was, I, think, I thought it was a good thing to have done, um, but I agree with you that it, it shouldn't be a distraction for Partygate, but also in the context of Ukraine, when you read about the mess of the Homes for Ukraine yeah. set-up. They need to sort that out. He needs to come back. It's all very well going there and saying, well, we're sending this, this, yeah. this and this. Because other countries are doing much better. We need a system where they can come here more easily. Yeah. It's taking... I mean, even MPs who are offering their houses are finding that they can't get through the red tape. Mm. So, uh, yeah, it needs, it needs to be done with a little bit of that in, in tandem.